Hello and welcome, this is Travis Hemo. I'm a comic book artist and illustrator, and today I wanted to tackle the question, why use Clip Studio Paint? What this video is mainly going to be about is why you should consider using Clip Studio Paint uh, versus, say, a competitor like Photoshop um, or other programs, like there's a free one out there, GIMP. Uh, you do have to pay for this one. It's, the I think, the lowest tier is $49.99. But this tool alone can help you create a comic book from start to finish. You can do your panels, your pencils, inks, colors, uh, and lettering all in one program, which makes this program absolutely great for beginners who just want to have fun making comics for the first time or a seasoned pro. I'm going to keep this part of the video pretty brief. I just want to run through the features um, that set this apart um, and kind of just show you how easy it is uh, with the tools that are built in here to create your comic book page. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to draw out a comic book uh, panel using the frame tool that's built into the system. Keep in mind this frame is just for illustration purposes only, no pun intended. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and divide this panel up. Um, we're going to do a nine grid, more of a classic uh, comic book page layout. So boom, all my panels are ready. If I wanted to do something more custom, I could do it but we're just going to use the nine grid right now. So I'm going to select the, let's see, the top left panel. So now I'm going to just do a quick little sketch, like a head sketch or something. Uh, let me we'll center it a little bit more. sure he's happy or sad whatever and I can grab like a nice inking brush now the one I'm using uh, is does not come in the system it's actually a separate one I bought from friend in brushes which is a great place to get brushes for this program So we have our crude little drawing here. Um, we're just going to finish up. We're going to maybe put in the background. Uh, you do have some key features in here, such as um, perspective tools you can use. You could use something like a pre done background, like this. And I'm going to scale it. So maybe it fits in the frame a little bit better. Okay, you can use your mask tool, which not a lot of people tend to use apparently. I talked to a friend the other day who also works in this program and doesn't use it. And it's now thankful uh, they do. There we go. There's our background. Um, we can even go a little step further and make a perspective grid very quickly. Uh, we can go into ruler frame, create perspective ruler. And we're just going to do a two point perspective. Boom. And you can move that perspective. 
and I kind of want to see what the perspective looks like so I'm going to look over here in this tool property and turn this grid on there we go now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to start inking Some kind of basic background, it doesn't really matter. You know. Okay. So we have our crazy little cute background back there. Um, and we kind of want to finish up. So we're going to go ahead and go into color. You do have color capabilities, you have full color palette. Um, you have some fun tools. Um, so besides, let's see, let's give just a random sky color back there. But we want to color our character here. So um, let's just make some kind of random gold color maybe. So this is a close and fill tool what it does is you circle uh, you actually end up circling your closed group it has to be closed off um, for it to work and you once you lasso it it automatically fills in um, your figure that we that we just circled and now that form is colored in if I move the inks it's kind of crude the way it does it um, in a professional sense probably a professional colorist might not like that but for for basic comic book creating, it's great. It's a definitely a time saver. So then we're gonna do the rest of our buildings. Let's just pick a random color. Doesn't really matter at this point. And what we're doing, I'm just circling what I want colored in. There you go. And because that wasn't closed in, it's not gonna fill. But if I just use my refer, my refer to other layers bucket, there you go. And let's finish off with a word balloon, so we can just have a built-in tool. I already have one kind of uh, built-in um, for rounded uh, balloons, so I'm just gonna draw, get the right layer, draw here. And now I'm going to do the text. Type in there. Let's just write. Sorry, I'm using a virtual keyboard on here. So I'm just going to type in that. And I'm going to scale this up. I'm going to grab my selection tools because I want to click high. Now when you do start typing in um, on this, you'll see that's one layer. I have my balloon here. Um, it's all vector. I could control it or mess with the, um, the outline if I wanted to, but I think this is fine just for what we're doing. I'm going to grab our tail tool, which is right here. And we're just doing a basic straight line. Just go use our straight line tool. Boom. There you go. I created a a panel pretty quickly. Obviously, it's a very simple panel. Just kind of showing you kind of the cool tools that are built in here. And there's plenty more for you to explore and try out. Um, you know, you have fully customizable brushes, very similar to Photoshop, but you also have some built built-in materials um, that can come in handy. Um, things like drawing in special effects. Um, artificial things such as like rocks, telephone poles, that kind of thing. Um, I showed the backgrounds. You could even turn stuff into tones very easily. Um, let's see. 
let's just say I wanted to add in um, something here. Let's see. So use my selection tool and let's say I want to add tone here. If you look here, this is one of the many ways you can add in tones. New tone, uh, that's fine. There you go. So you can definitely get some manga looks uh, and edit it further if you'd like. So that's going to wrap things up for today. Uh, just wanted to quickly go over some of these cool features in here. I will actually have some more in-depth videos coming out very soon, especially setting up your own comic book page from scratch. And also another video will be coming out as well, which will be about um, doing custom panel boards and more of the traditional ones as well. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you like this video, and thank you very much for watching.